In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw a cash flow diagram given a cash flow table like this one. So we first start off by drawing a horizontal line like this and labeling all the years here into that horizontal line. So we have year zero, year one, year two, and year three. Now in year zero, we have a net cash flow of negative 30,000 and negative here indicates that the money here is being spent. So to represent that in a cash flow diagram, we draw an arrow that points outwards, indicating that money is going out of the system. So here we have our arrow pointing outwards, which indicates that $30,000 is going out of the system. In year one, we have a positive net cash flow of $20,000, uh, which indicates that money is being earned. To represent that in the cash flow diagram, we draw an arrow that points inwards, indicating that uh, money is going into the system. Uh, in year two, we have a positive net cash flow of $50,000. So again, we draw an arrow that points inwards. Lastly, for year three, it's a negative $2,000. So we point an arrow. We draw an arrow that points outwards. Now notice the arrows have different sizes. And this is to indicate the how small or how large the values going in and out are. So obviously, $30,000 is much bigger than $2,000. And that's why the arrow is much longer. Now, example two is similar to example one. We have a cash flow table. And to represent this in a cash flow diagram, we first draw a horizontal line. We write down all the years. So year zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And in year zero, we have a net cash flow of negative $1,000, which tells us that $1,000 is being spent. So that money is going out of the system like this. And in year one, two, three, four, we have a positive net cash flow of $100 respectively for each of the years. Now because they all share the same net cash flow, we can simplify this by drawing all the arrows as the same size, drawing a dotted line like this and in the bottom indicating the $100. This tells us that in each year, the money going in is $100 respectively. Lastly, for year five, we have a positive net cash flow of $1,500. So we draw an arrow pointing inwards, indicating that $1,500 is going into the system. Again, the arrows, um, the length of the arrows correspond to how large or small the amounts are. Obviously, 1500 is much larger than 100, and that's why the arrow is longer. So that's it for this video. Thank you.